So I was looking through the Putty Tribe this morning and I noticed a new post by Greg, one of our Putty Peep. And um, Greg is starting a blog that he eventually wants to turn into a business. And he was asking about promoting his work. You know, how do you get the word out there? How do you grow your blog? How do you get readers? And um, so I thought, you know, it's kind of like going back to basics a little bit. I haven't really written about this stuff for a few years. You know, back when I was kind of figuring it out, I was very excited about it. And I wrote a few blog posts about it and um, talked about it a lot with different multi-potentialites. And um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of speak to this a little bit now. Um, a lot of multi-potentialites start blogs, and that makes sense to me because it's a great outlet for kind of exploring the different things that you're becoming interested in and sharing what you're learning and getting a discussion going with other people who are enthusiastic about similar things. It's very easy to start. It's pretty low pressure. And you can, if you want, turn a blog into a business, um, which, you know, I think also business ownership and entrepreneurship and self-employment, those things kind of appeal to a lot of multi-potentialites. Not all of us, but many of us. So let me just read a little bit from Greg's post um, and I'll go from there. Okay. So... Um, while I work out the process of creating and writing a blog, which can be quite time consuming, I feel pretty clueless about how one promotes it and grows an audience. Facebook, I Facebook share and tweet my weekly posts, but that doesn't feel like I'm getting much interest from anyone outside my immediate friends and family. Twitter in particular is a bit of an unknown universe to me. Hashtags, replies, mentions, etc. So still trying to wrap my mind around how it all works. It's a slow burn, I guess. Um, my worry is that I'm investing all this time into writing that no one is going to read. Sadly, so many blogs are never read at all. Okay. Um, and then he asks, so anyone out there uh, know any... Uh, so anyone out there who knows more about gaining readership and successful blogging, any advice or strategy would be greatly appreciated. Okay, Greg. Um, so a few thoughts. I think there are really three components here. So the first is content. You got to be writing things that people care about, things that you know are good that help people's lives, and a lot of this comes with time. And so part of the blogging thing is not just about growing an audience, it's also about developing your writing skills and learning what people care about and how to speak to people and how to make people feel. Um, so part of it is just kind of getting better at that, but that alone is not enough, right, as you mentioned. Um, so the second component here is reaching out to the people who have already shown interest. So. The first few people who comment, who email you, who interact with you on social media, those are, treat those people really well. Reply to them, um, make them feel really special, help them in any way that you can. Um, once you get bigger, once your site grows, you're not going to be able to do that with everyone. And so like, really cherish this time and really um, help people as much as you can. And those people will become hardcore fans, not all of them, but some of them will, and then they'll tell their friends about your work and uh, things kind of go from there. Um, and along with this, so your email and newsletters are super, super important. I mean, everyone says this, but it just like cannot be underemphasized. Um, so what I used to do, and I still do to some degree, but it gets harder as you get busier. Um, and I think it's really, really especially important at the beginning. So what I used to do is I would write two blog posts a week and a newsletter that would be kind of my unfiltered thoughts on whatever random topic. Usually it was somewhat related to multi-potentiality, um, but it could have also, it could have been about, you know, mental health stuff or creativity, um, work, you know, all of these kinds of things that I tend to write and think about. Um, and I would just kind of sit down and write a newsletter as though I'm writing an email to a friend. And people love that. 
um, and I would get I would encourage people to hit reply and then I would interact with them one-on-one -on -one and send emails and like I said I unfortunately I don't have the time to do this as much anymore but um, it's a really great way to kind of bring the audience that you do have to life to get them more engaged and those become like the early like super fans um, and they'll go out and they'll tell people about about your site and about your community. Um, so yeah, I would encourage you not just to be like, I want a bigger audience, but to really foster the relationships that are already there, the people who are already interested in your work. And then when it comes to actually getting the word out, so, you know, you can read a lot of stuff out there about different strategies. There are a lot of different things you can do. You can do guest posting, um, you can do partnerships, you can do a lot of social media strategies, and all that stuff is good. Um, I have found that there's no real magic bullet, you know, it's been kind of a slow, steady climb for me for Putty Like. I've done interviews here and there, I've done guest posts here and there, I've consistently shared on Facebook and Twitter and sometimes Instagram, but I, I didn't do anything crazy there. Um, one of the strategies that I like when you're just getting started, um, this is kind of like an old strategy, but I feel like it still works. Um, you create a private list in, in Twitter, so only you can see it, and you put people on that list who are bloggers who are just like a little bit bigger than you. You know, you don't want anyone that's like too huge and maybe doesn't have time to reply or interact. Um, you want people who are like just like a little bit ahead and you log in to Twitter, you know, once or twice a day and you take a look at your private list and you see what all of them have shared, um, what blog posts they've put out and you then you just kind of like reply to them anything that seems interesting or if you've got something to say in response you hit reply you know um, if they shared one of their own blog posts or a link that you find interesting you can retweet it and you just start interacting with them on a regular basis and what I found is that when I used to do this eventually people would kind of start noticing you and you'd be like oh yeah that person from Twitter who like shares my stuff and makes those funny comments and it's like we've got a bit of a you know friendship developing there and then they might follow you back and they might start paying attention to the things that you're tweeting and if you're tweeting your own blog posts regularly then and they find them interesting then they might retweet your blog posts to their audience and they've got a bigger audience than you and so um, this is just a, a nice little strategy both to kind of get your work in front of new audiences which is what you want to do and also to make friends I mean I made some of my best friends through Twitter and um, blogging and just like commenting on each other's blogs and I've got like a good handful of like really close friends now that I met like six seven years ago just through kind of trying to get the word out there about my blog and trying to build relationships um, and that wasn't something I was expecting to like make all these friendships but it was probably the, the coolest thing about um, I don't know just blogging in this whole world so um, yeah those are some really basic strategies it takes time um, obviously like doing something big like a TED talk <laughs> will will help like when I did that it brought in a lot of new people but at that point, I mean, I'd already been writing the site for like five years and I'd already been using a lot of these strategies to kind of like grow things organically. And like I said, it was a slow, steady climb, but, um, you know, I found these basic strategies to be pretty useful. So, um, yeah, now I'll throw it out there to you guys who are watching. Do you have any advice for Greg? Do you have blogs? What has worked for you to spread the word to build your communities um, please share your thoughts in the comments um, and if you would like some feedback on your blog or your project or your career check out the putty tribe it's a place where multi-potentialites from around the world gather I think we've got about 500 people in there and if you've got a question a problem anything related to your multi-potentiality or you know anything related to life really like people We've got um, we've got a whole bunch of groups in there now. We've got a group for coders and a highly sensitive 
person group and a mental health group and then lots of people talking about business and career and all these great things and it's all multi-potentialites so no one's gonna be like oh but you have to get serious and pick one thing like we get it if you change directions if you have multiple projects we're gonna encourage you um and no one yeah so anyway um the putty tribe is awesome we're opening the doors today and we only do it once. We only open the doors for new members once a month. So be sure to check that out. You can just go to theputtytribe.com. And there's a pretty sweet deal if you buy an annual membership. It's like 40% off. And then you get to be with your, your fellow putty peep, your fellow multi-potentialites for, for a year and hopefully more. But <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, great to... Great to see all of you guys. And uh, post your comments for Greg, please. Let us know how you have grown your blog and your community. All right. Bye, guys.